Welcome to 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on Auto IT Scripting, Part 11.1. In Part 11, I was going over how to make a TCP client, and in 11.1, this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to make a TCP server. Okay, so far with the client, we just have these simple commands. TCP startup, TCP connect, if TCP connect equals negative one, then exit, and then TCP send, that sends our data. For the server, there are a couple things that we need to do first. The first thing we need to do, like in the client, is TCP startup. What we first need to do is the function TCP listen, which, as it says, creates a socket listening for an incoming connection. So let's do that now. The first parameter is the IP address to list to create the socket on. In this case, it is at IP address 1. The next parameter is the port, which is 403. And then an optional parameter is maximum pending connections, but we don't need to worry about that. What we need to do with this also is create a variable, because this will return an ID. We will call it TCP listen. After that, we need to be listening for an incoming connection using the TCP accept function. What that does is, as it says, permits an incoming connection attempt on a socket. So, the main socket, which is the only parameter, is the main socket identifier as returned by a TCP listen function, which we did right here. So let's type that in. There. Now, like all others, we need to store the ID that it returns in a variable. Also, since we do not know when the request to connect to this server is going to be coming in, we need to put this into a do loop. There. What this does is does the TCP accept function, which will listen for an incoming connection, and it will do that until $TCP accept does not equal 1, which is the return value for a failure, which means nobody is connected. All right. Now we need the next functions. The next function we're going to do is the TCP receive function. What this will do is it will receive any data on a connected socket. In this case, the socket, or for the main socket parameter, it is going to be the ID returned by TCP accept. The next parameter is the maximum length of the amount of data that we can receive. In this case, there's no limit necessarily, so we're just going to put in a million. There. Now, again, we need to put this in, an, in a do loop. And we need to have a parameter. Sorry, not a parameter, a variable. This variable right here will have the data that TCP receive returns. TCP receive will return any amount of data that it receives from the main socket that, is, that was created with the TCP accept function. TCP receive will return nothing, or simply quote quote, if it does not receive any data. After it does receive data, though, let's have it pop up in a message box. There. Any data that TCP receive receives will pop up in a message box with the title data received and the, and the text being whatever dollar sign TCP receive equals. Let's go over the whole thing one more time. In the client, we start up TCP services, and same with the server. Then, the server listens for any type of incoming connection on port 403. And then, it says that it's fine to accept any connections that are received on the socket returned by TCP listen. The client then tries to connect to at IP address 1, which is 127.0.0.1, on port 403. When that happens, $TCP accept will no longer equal negative 1. And then, it goes on to do TCP receive, which receives any data that the client sends. Once TCP connect is connected, then it sends the data hello, using the so connected socket returned by dollar sign TCP connect. All right, let's give this a try. Since we're running multiple scripts, we cannot do both from within the editor. We need to close out and run them from the actual directory. First, you need to start the server. We right-click it and hit Run Script. 
if we look in the taskbar, there's the Auto IT server that is running. Now let's start the client. What this will do is it will attempt to connect to the server, and if it is successful, then send the data hello. When the server receives any amount of data, it will pop up in a message box. Let's give it a try. There it says, data received is hello. This message box has come from the TCP server that we've started, not from the client. If I was to have two computers, starting the server on the other computer and the client on mine, and changing the IP, address, IP addresses to their proper amounts of data, this would pop up on the other computer, because that is the data that was received by the server. As you can see, there are many, many types of uses for this networking protocols, and the possibilities are simply endless. This concludes 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on Auto IT scripting, part 11.1. In the next part, part 12, we'll be doing some other things. See you in the next tutorial.